Chuchak Willis, Ringanis, Scallops, Mountain Peaks. Indonesian people have many names for this adorable little bird, but in English, we call it the orange spotted bulbul. It is quite difficult to find this bird outside Indonesia because the habitat of these birds is limited to the islands of Java, Sumatra, and Bali. Therefore, in this video, we invite you to get acquainted with them and witness the release of a pair of orange spotted bulbuls at De Hakim's aviary. It's the aviary! Come on, let's open. This is Chuchak Willis. Orange Spotted Bulbul. They are a type of bird that chooses outskirts and open areas in mountain forests at an altitude of 803,000 meters above sea level as their habitat. In addition, this bird with the Latin name Pycnonatus bimaculatus also likes to live in the foothills and riverbanks that are overgrown with vegetation. Food Orange Spotted Bulbul is small fruits widely scattered in mountainous areas, such as mangoes, papayas, or bananas. However, they also like caterpillars and insects. They have a habit of living in pairs. They rarely colonize with each other, except when gathered in trees with many fruits. Orange spotted bulbuls make their nests using materials such as roots, tree trunks, and leaves, which they then place around bushes. The nest is shaped like a saucer and can hold two to three pink spotted eggs produced by the parent orange spotted bulbul. The body length of the orange spotted bulbul is about 20 centimeters if we measure it from the tip of the beak to the tip of the tail. Their upper and back are gray-brown, while their underside, belly, and chest are dull white. The wings and cheeks are decorated with a golden yellow color, with a black beak and legs. If you notice, there are orange spots on his head, and that's why this bird is named orange spotted. To distinguish male and female orange spotted bulbuls, you can observe their bodies. The female orange spotted bulbul is shorter, smaller, and rounder than the male. The male tail is longer. In addition, the male orange spotted bulbul is more active and often makes noises than the opposite sex. Orange spotted bulbul belongs to the type of songbird. In contrast to that of the female, which is small and often intermittent, the male orange spotted bulbul voice is resonant, rough, and firm. Let's take a closer look at their voices. Their voices may not be as beautiful as the white rumped shama, but they sound beautiful nonetheless. Inside the Dihakim's aviary, there is now a pair of orange spotted bulbul that has been released. And fortunately, they are a pair of males and females who have been seen to be matched from the start. They always get along and go hand in hand wherever they go, even when they are foraging on a laurel tree bearing fruit. If the female bird flies, the male bird will follow until finally they fly back together. Let's hope they breed quickly in this Dehakim's aviary, before their young are released into the wild. Hopefully, this video can be helpful for you. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you in the next episode.